I said I'd do a walk around. So this is our 55 Fairlane. It is known as inbred potato. It's got 57 Chevy Gasser wheel well openings. It's rough. It's got a lot of mud in it. This was my father's car, so it's kind of sentimental. We're going to put it back together. We got a fiberglass deck lid, fiberglass hood, fiberglass valance, fiberglass front fenders. All the chrome is off the car. The only chrome that'll be on the car is the back bumper, tail lights, and a tube grill. No front bumper. It's not going to be a gasser. We're going to run those Jegs wheels. I guess the door handles and the lock will be chrome. It's got motorhome low back bucket seats in it. Those will stay. It may have the grill surrounding chrome. I'm not sure if I'm going to run that dash or a 56 dash I got right there. I haven't decided yet. I have a 9 inch for it. I have cow tracks, 347 and a TKX transmission for it. New radiator, Granada disc brakes. It ought to be a fun car, a lot of work. We got three projects and one fat guy. It ought to be an interesting winner. Hopefully by fall of next year we'll have this car close to driving. Priority now is the little falcon in the truck. And if you'd like to hear more, like and subscribe, Side Money Garage, ask us some questions, leave us some comments. Do something. It's very boring with no input from everybody who watches our crappy videos. Well, don't mind my heat, it's a little cold outside again. It's Monday. While the car is out getting the carpet done, we're going to work on the underside of this hood. we got to wire wheel it or something. What's on here is flaking off. we got to do something with these things, the hood braces that were cut out. They're flopping in the wind. Can't have that. So what I think I'm going to do I'm going to put some right stuff under it and kind of clamp it down to hold it. That shit will seal anything else, so if I seal glue these down, put a little along the slip, it should work for this, I hope. Heck, I might even put a little in there to keep the water out. I doubt it, though. That should be okay. And then I have to take these off. Wire wheel this whole thing. And I'm just gonna put some bed liner spray stuff, something under there. It's the underside of the hood. This ain't a show car. It doesn't have to be pretty. It just has to be functionable. And this is the X. So that shows we just raised this hood up. You know, there was nothing fancy here. Well, the underside of our hood is done. Good enough to drive. Now we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna spray bomb the other side flat black, nothing fancy. Then, we gotta start getting our mini bike ready to put together. Seat's done. We gotta get that bad boy done, get the wheelie bar made. So that's gonna be a process. We're gonna start tinkering with that, I guess. We'll see how that goes. But first things first is this hood and those two wheels for the back. So let's get something moving here. It's Tuesday, car comes back Friday. I gotta flip this hood over and paint the other side. Dismount a tire, paint some wheels. So I'm gonna get busy and get something done here. I'll show you as we go.
that? Just did it right there. Maybe it's almost empty. Alright, we got our hood painted, now we're on to our mini bike wheels. These are for a little mini bike project we're working on. They got some rust on them. We're going to scuff them up, put a little primer on them, tape off the valve stem, put some more silver paint on them. I guess we'll have to get some bearings for the front wheel. They're locked up. Back wheel's pretty good. I think I already put bearings in that one. So, I'm probably going to sand these with some 120, 220. They don't have to be perfect. You really won't. The front wheel you'll see mostly, but the back wheel you won't see too much. So, we were working on a little mini bike. We painted the sprocket and the wheels. Sanded them, painted them, all that good jazz. So, the sprocket is painted with this stuff. And I don't even know where the hell I got this shit. Probably when I bought that 57 Oldsmobile, it was probably in it. And then the wheels are just gloss gray. I wanted aluminum wheels or chrome wheels, but I haven't found any yet for this particular Baja mini bike. I guess it's a cheapy Baja Ray or something. Modified and the living shit out of it, but... They don't make a aftermarket wheel to fit it that I have found yet. But I will keep looking. Um, we got the hood painted. I don't like that paint with that fancy nozzle. Puts too much paint down. It's got a couple of runs in it. You can't really see them too good in this probably right now. Across the front there, but we may have to scuff it up and do it again. Won't be the first time. We'll see how it looks. Once it dries and if we even like it. It's not too bad. Right now I'm going to go break down some wheels and tires. Just one. And that's a terrible job. Nobody wants to see my fat ass flopping around like a fish trying to break down a tire. So, we'll be back in in a few minutes and we'll clean and paint some wheels. Alright, it's Thursday morning. I'm working in the house, in my RC room. Um, <coughs> I decided to build my mini bike motor in here. Probably going to end up building the whole mini bike in here. But here, we have one of these Harbor Freight Predator motors. We tore it, we stripped it down. We are removing the oil, low oil engine shutoff and the governor. So we're in the process of now we're gonna take off the flywheel, take the camshaft out, take the crankshaft out so we can get in there and do what we need to do to that. So what happened was this la over the summer, this past summer, I was at the rock and race. I bought a mini bike, so my wife would have her golf cart to get to the restroom, and I cruised around on that mini bike. Sold it to a friend. Bought another mini bike. Sold it to a friend. Bought another mini bike. Sold it to a friend. So in the span of one weekend, I bought four mini bikes and sold three of them. So then I bought a couple more and sold them. This one I started building for myself. Being a fat ass, I gotta modify the shit out of this thing so I can keep up with people that are half my size. So that's where we are now. And as this goes along, you'll see more and more, I guess. But instead of working on RC cars this winter, or building some RC cars, I 
I am going to build myself a custom mini bike for a fat guy. We'll see how it goes. Stay tuned. But for now, we're going to get this all ripped apart. I got the bag I carry with me when we go to car shows and stuff in the trunk or in a bit of a pickup truck. Anything else I'll bring from the shop. I do know once we get these out, we got a couple holes we got to tap, block off. Um, I watched a couple videos about this. Other than that, I don't know nothing about it. This is a brand new engine I bought. And I bought some dress up and stuff because I can't be plain. I like to be kind of flashy and in your face with everything I do. So we'll see what happens. Alright, well, we got this thing apart. We got all the unnecessary stuff out of there. The oil shut off. The governor. We have to get this gear off of here still. And then inside of here there are three holes we got to tap one right there where the governor rod went out one right there was the pin for the governor and one over here was the hole for the oil shut off man this cat toy is pretty snazzy works good for this get that off the crankshaft I don't think we need that so that's where we are now. We're going to bring some taps home tonight and tap a couple holes in the morning. We're probably going to use American bolts. I'm not much into that metric stuff. But we'll see what happens. Bagels was helping again. And Sonic was helping. I don't know where he went. But Miss Bagels is always up your ass if you're around. Oh, she's chasing the little laser. Well, it's time to get ready to go to work. So we're going to end this and get ready to go to work. We might tap that gear off real quick. So, a side job we're working on tonight. A coffee grinder. Not sure what I'm doing. But we're going to try to get this coffee grinder working. Alright. So, we got the little coffee grinder fixed. I'm not sure what the hell you do with this thing. I'm sure nothing that he does, nothing that you're supposed to do with it. But it had a problem with not working. It works. So she's fixed. Our sprocket turned out good. Our wheels turned out pretty good. These two wheels turned out pretty good. The hood, not so good. You see runs in it, but there's no runs. And it's real thin, so we're gonna paint it again. I just, I don't like how it looks. So we're gonna scuff it up and do it again. That new paint ain't worth a shit. That fancy nozzle or whatever it is, I don't like. So, we repainted our hood. Now we're gonna mount these tires on these wheels. Those will be the tires that we drive on for this drag and drive event we're trying to do. Sunday's the big day. We're gonna try to get into the Midwest drags. So right now we're gonna mount those tires and we're gonna mount the mini bike tires. And the sprocket and brake rotor. All right, let's see what we can do here. I never mounted mini bike tires. I know they were a pain in the ass to unmount. All right, it's Friday morning. We don't have to work today. Got to use up some vacation days before the end of the year. <laughs> so to this this morning before we go to the shop, <laughs> we're gonna see about tapping these three holes. I think how I'm gonna do this. I'm going to turn it on its side the other way so that all the shavings will just fall out of it versus staying in it. 
and see how that works as far as tapping those three holes and see what size. Once we get some bolts in there, we can put the crankshaft back in. It's kind of weird. There's no assembly lube or nothing, and this motor's never been ran. It just had a little bit of oil in it. So we'll probably smear some oil on there and put it back together. We'll have to torque the connecting rod bolts. But other than that, it should go pretty smooth. We got all the junk out. We're ready to go. All right. First hole was tapped. Bolts in. We used some red Loctite on it. It was tapped to a quarter twenty. Now we're going to move on to another bolt. Either this one or the other one. We have two left to do. So we can start putting this bad boy back together. So we're going to flip around and see which one we're going to tap next. Alright. So our plans for today, we got a fella coming to get some inner fenders, we hope. So we're going to start removing this stuff. Doesn't look too bad. Bolts, bolts, bolts. A lot of bolts, but other than that, there's no motor in here, so it should go pretty quick, I hope. We're going to get some tools. <clears throat> well, those are gone. Front end's off the old 55. It ain't too bad looking. Ain't too good looking. See what we got to do to put that small block in this sucker. Now we got to make room for the Falcon. Our repainted hood didn't do too bad. I can work with that. The mini bike tires. Got to be repainted the wheels a little touching up. All right, we're back on our little motor. We have gotten all of our bolts plugged. <coughs> this is a quarter 20. This one's a quarter 20. And the one on the bottom down there is a quarter 20. Sorry, this one is a 7 16th. We got our everything cleaned out in there. We got our crankshaft back in. We're going to put some assembly lube on it. And then we're going to put our connecting rod on. Then we can drop our camshaft in. Close this up. Alright, we got our connecting rod tightened to 108 inch pounds, we hope. I don't have a torque wrench that goes that low, so we guesstimated. So this thing could grenade. Um, next, we're going to do the valve springs and the flywheel. We got the head off. Now we got to take these valves out and change those springs. We may have to take the side cover back off for push rod placement. I'm not 100% sure yet. Alright, so we're going to have to figure out how to compress these little tiny guys and see what we can get those out and get the new springs in. Hopefully we don't have to take these rocker arms and all that off. We're about to find out. <laughs> 